So the second of the top three liked questions was from um, Igor, who asked, I wonder if there are some supercomputing projects that a broader audience not affiliated with the university could get involved with, and also are there any additional learning materials online courses related to supercomputing that you can recommend? So in terms of the second point, I've really addressed that in the first video um, to Jay's question. I pointed out the, um, the network of Prace advanced training centers and other, other training centers across Europe, which, which offer face-to-face -face courses. Uh, any of the local national centers will probably have a training program, and I, I pointed out the one we have here at Archer. They're face-to-face, -face, which might be difficult for you to get to, but I, I say keep an eye on the, the Prace Institution page on, on FutureLearn because there are more MOOCs in the pipeline. So, but I wanted, to, you asked about if there are any supercomputing projects that you can get involved with. I think there's, there's a couple of options here. First of all, um, there are a lot of distributed computing projects. I think in some of the conversations that uh, happened on the MOOC, people talked about things like SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. And the idea there is that you have a large amount of data to analyze looking for signals potentially from, from intelligent, um, intelligent civilizations outside of the solar system. And um, you can distribute that. And so you can, you can get involved in the sense that you can offer up your own home computer as, as a resource. So that's really getting involved in distributed computing, um, what might have been called grid computing rather than supercomputing, but at least it, it's the same kind of area of computational science. Um, other uh, application areas in that in that field are things like protein folding. People are looking at um, doing studies. Kept, it's very difficult to work out how proteins um, fold up and, and form their structure, just starting from their initial uh, chemical composition, um, but you can do computer simulations, molecular dynamic simulations, and they're very um, uh, CPU intensive, and you can run them on your own laptop or desktop and contribute to that global effort. Another one is a one that a colleague of mine uh, has been involved in. Uh, he's very in interested in prime numbers. I think it's called Prime Grid. So they 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 search for you know the largest uh, prime numbers, and again that's something which can utilize um, distributed computing. So you can get involved in those kinds of projects. It's difficult to get involved in a real supercomputing project because you kind of need access to a supercomputer for that. But I would say that um, we are getting um, involved in a global effort to develop a sort of hands-on practical but applied supercomputing course. There's been a whole, there's been a number of courses um, developed for things like learning about data science, and learning about uh, software um, uh, software development under the, the term carpentry courses. They're called software carpentry and data carpentry. If you Google them, you'll find the, the resources. And um, they're very hands-on and applied and collaborative. And the idea is to develop an HPC carpentry course, which will hopefully give you know modular and easy to reuse and easy to, to download learning modules, which will be based around hands-on practical examples. As I said, although you may not be able to run them at any level of performance because um, you won't have access to a supercomputer, as I hope I pointed out in the MOOC, um, the fundamentals of a supercomputer are very much like your laptop. Your laptop is just like a single small node of a supercomputer. So you will be able to run parallel programs, be they parallelized with shared memory or distributed memory, be they with, with, with shared variables or message passing on your laptop and they won't go much faster beyond two or four cores but cpu cores but hopefully that would um, that would help you so again i've i've mentioned in terms of projects there are these distributed computing projects but spanning the two uh there is a project to develop new online courses and we would really it's called as an hpc carpentry under the data carpentry software carpentry umbrella we would really um, um, value people's input to that People saying what you know what they would find useful, what they would like to learn, and that would hopefully feed into the curriculum of that course. So, I hope you find that uh, useful.